What's going on, YouTube world? I just want to ask you a few questions. The first question I want to ask, have you ever been in a relationship with the stone? Or have you ever been in a relationship with the wall? Uh, have you ever been in a relationship with a rock? And I know, I know, you may be asking yourself, why in the world is Seals the Man asking me these weird questions? I'm just being real, because a lot of y'all may have, if you have been in a relationship with an emotionally unavailable guy. There's not many differences between those objects and an emotionally unavailable man. <laughs> Just gotta be real here. And I know from experience, you know I like to talk about things I know from experience. I know from experience because I was that person at one time at one point in my life. So I'm gonna talk about that and I'm gonna give you the signs that you are dealing with an emotionally unavailable guy. Simple as that. All right, but before I start, make sure you follow me, subscribe, like, comment do all those magical things for your internet brother thank you for the support as always and let's get straight to it you know it's really hard being in a relationship with with a person who is emotionally unavailable lacks emotional intellect and lacks the want to be better with these things it's a horrible thing it, it sucks but for me personally i know it took certain things for me to get out of this weird phase in my life but I will tell you, I was emotionally unavailable because of the things I went through in my life. I wasn't the kid who always received family, affection, and coddling, and all that. I've been working hard ever since I was a young kid. But because of that, I never received those things that will lead me to emotional awareness. I am now, just now, a grown man learning about these things. But it took therapy. It took exposure to successful relationships. It took a lot of things. So to get on track, the first sign that you are dealing with an unavailable emotional man is that he's very sarcastic, very jokey jokey. When you show affection or when you show love or when you show emotion, he uses sarcasm as a shield. He uses jokes as protection from showing his emotions or showing how he's feeling on the inside. Using sarcasm and jokes gives the person of emotional unavailability the sense of security because with this they can deflect, they can change the topic. They don't have to give what you're looking for by you showing your emotions. So you'll find a lot of funny people, a lot of unpaid comedians who are some of the most unemotional beings on this planet because they have a talent to make you laugh. They have a talent to change the subject. So this is a very popular method of those who are emotionally unavailable. The next sign that you are dealing with a unemotionally unavailable man is a man who continually shuts down communication when clarification is needed. See with these type of people, when things are going good, it's going good. But when things are getting difficult, when things are going bad, and there's a conversation that needs to be said, they don't participate in it. They participate when everything is going good, everything is going smooth, and as soon as things get serious, especially when there's emotions involved, they discard themselves, they eject themselves, they run away, they shut down the conversation, they change the subject, they deflect, they will do everything it takes not to have this conversation about emotions especially when a woman is trying to figure out why he's not being emotionally responsive to her situation that's when clarification comes in and people who are emotionally unavailable hate clarification because most conversations around clarification involve some kind of emotion or the explaining of some kind of emotion so if you're with a guy and he always shuts down the conversations when it gets serious real conversations that need to be talked about that is a great sign that he is emotionally unavailable Let's go to the next sign that you are with a guy who is emotionally unavailable, and that is he values physical intimacy over emotional intimacy. He looks forward to what he can do to you in the bedroom over what he can do to you using his words. Kind of like the first point, physical intimacy is a way to put your mind off of what is at hand. It's also a way for him to not have to express himself and his emotions verbally. Because one thing about physical intimacy is that it's easy. You can have sex with anyone. You could go to bed with anyone. You can express your love and how you feel for this woman with physical intimacy like it's nothing. But one of the hardest things to do is to talk and communicate and verbally express how you feel, what's going on on the inside. A lot of men struggle with that as is. So when you take that, plus a man who is emotionally unavailable, it's twice as bad. Because when you're physical and always doing physical things and a way to express yourself, you don't have to deal with the mental complexities of emotion. But man, when you try to talk about emotion, some people will shut down. They don't know how to react to that. They don't know what to do. They don't know how to adjust to that type of expression. 
So they'll lead towards physical expression. Huge sign. And that leads me to my next sign that you are dealing with an emotionally unavailable man, which is he does not know how to handle affection when it's given to him. They become very uncomfortable when affection is shown. Physical and verbal affection. Now I'm gonna speak about myself when I was going through these things and how I felt when it came to affection. So in a previous relationship I had, she was very affectionate. Touch was her love language. And as an emotionally unavailable man, anytime she showed that to me, I would get uncomfortable, super uncomfortable. And a big part of my emotional unavailability was that touching made me feel icky. It made me feel yucky because I just didn't know how to react to that. I've never been touched in that way. I've never been a person who received cuddling and hugs and all that stuff when I was growing up. So I was just not used to that type of affection. I didn't know how to react to it. So I would just get weird. And it was kind of uncontrollable. And it sucks because I didn't want to be like this. It was just in me. I didn't know how to hand, I didn't know what to do. And that's another thing. A lot of people who are emotionally unavailable aren't doing it on purpose. Sometimes it's based on the life they lived and how they were raised and their upbringing, the type of love they received in their lifetime. It's not always purposeful, so don't always take it to heart. So a person who acts very like weird and awkward when, they, when you show a, a, a emotion to them or affection to them, they just may not be used to it. And acting awkward and weird is almost a knee knock reaction. But what's worse than that are the ones who don't even know that they're being awkward or weird. They're so used to it. They're so used to this reaction of being awkward and weird to affection that it has become part of their psychology and life in general. It's unfortunate. The next sign that you are dealing with an emotionally unavailable man is that he will refrain and refuse to tell you or show you how he feels. It is like pulling teeth out of this man's mouth to express himself. You can talk for a whole hour about how you feel. And it doesn't have to be about him. It could be about some, some kind of a situation that disrupted your emotion and you feel like it's worthy enough to tell this man, your man, how you feel. And he doesn't even know how to respond to that. So when you ask him his input or his feedback, he doesn't express his side about how he feels about the situation. He doesn't know how to express how he feels about situations. He doesn't know how to express how he feels about your situations. He doesn't know how to express how he feels about his own self. He just does not know how to express himself, period. Like I said, it's almost like pulling teeth. You're trying, you're trying. Oh, did I say it? You're trying, almost, it seems like weekly. And he refuses, he finds an excuse. He finds excuses. Shoot, he might say he got a disability on not being able to express himself. He will say anything and any reason as to why he can't express how he feels. And this type of man, when you're, when you're trying to tell this man to express himself, you're trying to give him the, the alleyway, you're, you're telling him, yo, it's okay, I'm here for you. Tell me how you truly feel. On his inside, it feels like a bomb is erupting and coming back together and erupting again and coming back together and erupting. There is complete madness in this man's body, his mind, his spirit. He is fighting himself because it is so hard for him to be honest and transparent with his feelings. Being emotionally unavailable is a war. And sometimes you can even see the struggle on these men's face. And the last sign that you're dealing with an emotionally unavailable man is when he gets defensive. When you try to get him to open up. It is like you just said some fighting words. For example, you, you could be like, you know, you could talk to him and you could be like, hey babe, you know, I'm here for you. The other day I was trying to talk to you and you just did not give me the same energy that I gave you. I, I poured myself out and you gave me nothing in return or minimal in return. I just want you to talk to me and some emotionally unavailable men will be like why are you always telling me what to do it seemed like you forcing me i can't take this no more and now you like whoa whoa i wasn't trying to come at you i just want you to be real with me some emotionally available men will take offense to you asking him to open up for you like you ain't his partner like you ain't his woman because like i explained early in this video it is a war inside and when he can no longer hold that war in because you're asking him to be transparent he lets it out, not understanding how bad and toxic that is. People who are emotionally unavailable, they need help. I will never take heart to people like this because I've been there and because I understand the sources of this mindset. The mind is a very powerful thing. And if you train it on one type of mindset, it will permeate throughout your whole life, especially your relationships. So thank you for coming back to my video. Hopefully I 
was able to help a little bit understand the mind of men. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Peace and blessings. Goodbye.